Are two woofers better than one? Two of anything's better than one. <laughs> Ken in Fountain Hills, California writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I have a pair of Focal Sopra Number no. 2s. Nice speakers. Um, they have two 7-inch woofers in each speaker. And I was curious about what drives the design for the number of woofers in a speaker. Are two always better than one? Is a single woofer with the same area as my two sevens equivalent? This is my third question, and I hope this one makes the cut. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Ken Myers, Fountain Hills, Arizona. Oh, Arizona. I thought it was California. Well, hell, I don't know. Wherever you are, Ken, you made the cut. So, ah, boy, that's... There's a whole bunch of opinions on this. So let me, let me, let me run some by you. Two smaller woofers can potentially, I want to say, move faster than one big one. Um, that's kind of the general sense of things. But in reality, uh, and I, you know, I'm not Chris Brunhaver. I'm not the speaker guy. I, you know, I, I'll give you what I know. Um, and a lot of it is learned from Chris. The main reason why... Uh, multiple woofers are used is usually because of the size of the baffle. So I'll give you an example. We are, you know, working on the FR30, which is uh, Chris's, it'll be his first speaker and you'll see that's a gorgeous speaker. And we very much wanted a narrow baffle. There's a whole bunch of reasons for that. Wide baffles don't sound as good generally as narrow baffles, but that really depends on, I don't know what this thing is. Terry grows these things. I don't even know what they are. Uh, so generally, uh, narrow baffles sound better than uh, wide baffles because you, you're trying to get as much of the speaker out of the way as you can, but then narrow baffles have to have what we call a baffle step in the crossover. It's all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, designing speakers is, is not for the faint at heart if you want to do a really good job. Um, so, but in our case, we, we wanted to have a 10-inch baffle right? And to have a 10-inch baffle, you can't put anything larger than about an 8-inch woofer into that baffle, right? But an 8-inch woofer doesn't have as much surface area and pistonic power uh, and movement that we want to get low base down, you know, into the low 30s, the upper 20s. Just doesn't have it, so you need more. So ours will have four woofers. Now, we could have had three, four was, you know, it, it worked out just fine. But we're doing multiple woofers to accommodate the narrow baffle size and to get the, the amount of surface area and base cone area that we need to hit those low frequencies. And to hit low frequencies, you need a combination of the, the woofer size and the volume inside of the cabinet. So it's a tricky, it's a tricky business. You can, you can do things like EQ and whatnot, but that's, that's basically why they do it. This same speaker, the model just before it, and we've gone through three now, four? One, two, three. This will be our fourth, our fourth attempt to, to get this right. Had a 12-inch woofer, a pair of 12s, one on each side. Now that was easy because it was a side-mounted woofer and we had the room, right? But, I mean, had it been a short cabinet, we couldn't have done it. But that's generally why people do that sort of thing. And I think on your focales, if you look at them, you'll probably see that that 7-inch, 6.5-inch driver isn't, uh, there's not a whole lot more room to, to add a bigger driver. And that's probably why they did it. Okay. Take it easy. Thanks. Thanks.